Get along before the storm rolls in. Go home. Whatever you, whatever it is you call it. Ooh. Hey now. Smart stone. Don't worry. The pain won't last. Don't you be afraid. We're gonna see your mama real soon. See, history's got a way of repeating itself. The second little girl have lost the war. Some things will be different on the land. Got an explanation for this boy? You know what killed this little girl? Speak if she saw something, why she'd have to die. Life's taken without reason. It's the world we live in. You know that as well as I. I know stealing and killing. I should have tear for the girl if I weren't guilty of worse myself. Hasselstein. Don't you go. Decide who, who you are. I'll be stuck here, waiting for another bolt for you. Do to make like going to do what I can to make sure this doesn't happen again. All right, we are back. So, let me get one more stream in before SGDQ, which is when we normally. Well, this week we normally do not stream. Instead, there's a time when I refer when I recommend that y'all watch SGDQ instead and keep your attention and your funds to them. So we've now opened things up a little bit through the progression. Not everything with a time crunch at the moment. We can now proceed with the story. But also, level up things a bit further. Let's move ahead to Getting the other side quest we can do right now. We can either move this way and make our way to the Palace of the Dead, which is the basically mega dungeon of 100 levels. Or we have the more subtle, quiet, smaller thing that we can do over here at the Pirate's Graveyard to help us get one more party member. I personally. I'm leaning towards getting us one more party member. And hitting up the pirate's graveyard. do this is um the last time i did do some cheat stuff so here's what we're gonna do is the fights in this dungeon are going to scale in most dungeons like this scale based on your level it's be this same for this and for the um palace of the dead is if you go in with a bunch of level 20 characters your the opponents you're gonna be facing are also going to be a bunch of of level 20 opponents. So, 
you're not necessarily gonna be too far outpaced. You run into some issues if you have a lower level character in the party. They're gonna gain a ton of XP and level up faster, but you're also going to run into a situation where they're much more at risk. And there's a particular problem if you have guest characters. Get myself. So if you watched the last time, you'll remember that when we got at, that at the end of the last our last fight with Azelstan, or rather alongside Azelstan, uh, he is he gained some levels in Buccaneer, and he gained those levels at level one, even though he did the fight itself at a much higher level at the time. So that means that when we encounter Azelstan in here and get the opportunity to recruit him as a guest character, and then fight alongside him for several additional quest missions as part of his story quest. Um, he is going to be very low level and very squishy. So here's what we're going to do is I'm going to fight. I'm, I'm going to play through these initially as normal. And I should be able to manage this fairly well. I've restocked on most of my healing items. Uh, I should actually check and make sure I have restocked on all my healing items. Um, for all, because it, it, we're not resing anything yet. Um, Oh, so you can buy these now. No, no, they've sold those worms. I can buy them. So oh, I'm just grinding. Oh, yeah. So, um, uh, so back to Earth Cave Yard. So for the quests for getting, um, Alliston as a guest character, because it's a situation where if he goes down, he will like, it's, he's not going to join the party, be able to join the party and cut off that quest line. I may engage sheets. I actually, frankly, if this is a situation where him going down triggers a game over message, um, I like, now that I've opened this forbidden door to a certain, he says the week before the day before the forbidden door pay-per-view, um, I probably could have done that earlier with like some of the other supporting characters, uh, but here I am now. Okay. So what the guide will give me in this case, it won't give me any record information, but what it'll do is give me monster light of information specifically, help me know, are we encountering, um, are, are we encountering levels where, or um, missions where there'll be undead or there'll be monsters who are predominantly vulnerable to magic attacks or that sort of thing so they can equip the party accordingly. Lots of monsters in the first two. Just checking for undead. Get on twelve. Further in the go, looks like the further we go, the more we, undead we potentially bring. So currently, we're going to play this straight. No matter this happened, and no matter with how dungeons work in here, is when you leave a dungeon, you have to start the whole thing. That in mind, 
save the game in my dungeon slot. And let us begin. Use the lineup here. Katia, I want to level her up. Denim, Kate, for whenever I run into Hazelston. Sente, Maverick, and Jeremy. Drop Donalto. Drop four characters. Uh. Red offers some additional. Uh, what am I check this Gotcha. Okay, she can't equip a lobber. Okay, so. Oh, so let's give that a shot and let me, let me drop cannabis. Let's check the No, she does not have trajectory. Darn. No way. But does but she's got the lobber she can launch hopefully potions. Uh, which means we won't necessarily need cannabis on this one. Two archers are right. One archer to hub rim, or do I want... Let's do... Vicente's got a lot of DPS, because Vicente can do the double attack. I'm going to drop... Ooh. Okay, there's a dead here. The octopus is Octopi. Uh, monsters up here. The undead on the bottom of the map. Katia can't do un take out undead. Head start in case they
monsters tend to be more vulnerable against magic or the class. Okay, I can hit you from here. That works. Can't do supply. Those undead are... I'm not going to get those. Action is going to actual combat action is going to kill herself. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. I also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.